What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to airdrop on your PC. So in this tutorial, I will be airdropping a photo from my PC to my iPhone, but it works on any operating system as well as any mobile phone. So you could technically do PC to an Android or uh, my iPhone to the PC it does not matter. And also this is completely free. So the link will be down below in the description. And also I do want to mention if you are worried about privacy on the photos and videos that you're going to be airdropping, I'm going to leave the GitHub link to the developer so you guys can get more information on that. Personally, I used the website for a couple months now and I've had no issues, but that's just my personal experience. So the first thing you want to do is head over to your PC and you want to go to the website pairdrop.net. I'm gonna link it down below in the description and you will see we won't see any devices. So what we wanna do next is go to the device that we wanna to transfer to. So in this case, I'm transferring a photo from my PC to my iPhone. So we can take a look at my iPhone right here. We're gonna head over to the same exact website, pairdrop.net. And once we're on the website, you will see it's gonna automatically pop up. It's gonna give a random name, but you will see it says Windows Chrome, which is what I'm currently on. And if we take a look at uh, my PC, it says it's an iOS iPhone. So from here, all we wanna do is just click on the iPhone or the logo right here. And then we wanna locate the photo or video that we wanna transfer over. So if we head over to my desktop, we can see I have a wallpaper or an iPhone wallpaper that I'm just going to transfer over. Click on open and you will see that it's gonna wait and it's gonna automatically say right here, image transfer requested. And we can obviously decline it or accept it but I'm going to accept it, super easy. And then from here, we're gonna be given the option to download the image or save it or whatever we want with it, share it, wherever. But I want to click on that download and it's gonna download basically to my files application. Now if we tap on the photo in my downloads, we can see this is the wallpaper that I have transferred and now I can use this wallpaper on my iPhone. If you guys did enjoy this video and this did help you out, make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. And that's basically it and I'll see you guys in the next one.